Hi Aquarius, welcome to Ascending Soul's Journey. I am Lorianne, your intuitive guidance counselor, psychic medium to give you messages for this week. This is for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Aquarius. And if Venus is in Aquarius for the love portion as well. Now, I appreciate you bearing with me while I go through these changes. I too have been sick, so I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Um, yeah, and you can see I've done my hair. Now, this is the message that's coming through for you for this week, and it has everything to do with fear. It has everything to do with stepping into your true self. So some of you might be fearing making a change, like how I just did my hair. Now, my hair is actually dark blonde. Uh, it's a multitude of blonde, and it has gray in it as well. So in a week from now, I could have pink cotton candy hair, <laughs> but I took a chance, right? So embracing that, getting that energy, I feel new energy, new vitality is coming in. Now, please join me in the unity prayer where we're going to honor our heroes on the line and those who have passed away, all of us who need the help from above. That unity prayer is on April 7th at 12 noon, and I'll explain all of that to you then. But that moon has everything to do with what's going on right now. Now, some of you might be in a place where uh, we have the card of pride. I love myself. I see myself in everyone. But you equally got the card of envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. You almost got, look at that. Okay, some of you are dealing with people that might be a little bit intimidated about you stepping into your true self. Maybe you've gone through and made the changes. Maybe you're cutting your own hair or taking a whole different approach to your relationships overall in general. Because this is you getting ready to overcome this fear. It's a conflict perhaps going on inside of you, but we're gonna take a look at your energy. We're gonna look at the other side. For some of you, this is absolutely to do with a person, <clears throat> a person in your life, and I feel it has to do with a work environment where you could be out there working on the front line right now, and they're jealous, envious, because, because you are making a change in the world. We have the Three of Cups. Now, this is usually about celebration. Celeb <laughs> celebration. This is about joy. This is typically about a coming together, a group of people, you celebrating with people around you, enjoying those around you. But we also got the Page of Wands. So some of you might have that opportunity that I'm talking about. Wands, taking that baby step and moving forward. Moving forward past the ego. And don't worry about the gossip around you. You keep moving forward and you, you know exactly what's going on, Aqua. Now, you could be dealing with a uh, Aries, a Sagittarius, or a Leo, but for a lot of you, this is really you pulling in, reining in your fire within, your passion, your drive, and it's about perseverance. It's about pushing through uh, whoever is around you that may be trying to cast even those uh you know those eye daggers yeah aqua i'm in a fellow aquarius we know what those are because we get them a lot and we get them because we stand so strong in our own personal power people don't like that and it can really when they gossip about us it can make us feel that uh fear it can make us angry and it can push us into it which some of you are going to do but it can also be saying, you know, I'm going to persevere through you. Laugh, giggle, do whatever you want to do. I'm moving forward because this envy, this jealousy is going to stop in the month of April. It will not happen anymore for this group of you, finally. Okay, so we have three cards that came out with your partner. We do have the star card, which represents them dealing with you. But the star card is about hope, it is about faith, and it is about healing. And after all of that takes place, after everything that's going on in your external world comes to a place of 
transformative peace is what I'm hearing, transformative peace. You're going to be given a wish. Now, for some of you, this is somebody, something you've been waiting a very long time for, Aquarius. This is something you've been putting a lot of energy and effort into that it's that moment in time when that person is coming in. You have a choice to make. Now, this is a choice head over heart, but for some of you, it isn't. It, it does involve uh, picking between two, picking between two. It could be a partner, a love. This could be your soulmate. This may be your, your true life partner coming in. And finally, they're seeing the light. Finally, they've healed, they've grown, and it's taken such a long time. I feel this is going to throw you a little bit out of balance, okay? Because you aren't going to expect it. I really believe it's been taking a very uh, years. It's been years, years, five, seven, ten, and then it just, you know, it's going to go on from there. So the lowest number you see is five years for you and this person. Now, this may involve a Gemini. This could involve your own child where we're healing some family issues. You could have even had situation with a parent, with a sibling, where that rivalry was there. For some of you, this is your own child, where they may have been jealous of you at one point in time. But again, by you moving forward and stepping into what you know you're supposed to do, it's kind of like I see everything coming around to you. Uh, protection. Um, they're going to guide you. They're literally going to guide you. So open up your third eye. Pay attention to the voice that you're hearing, your intuitive guidance voice. Pay attention to that. Mm. They're going to lead you right through the healing process with this person, with the situation. Now, the lovers is about a choice. It's about you stepping into that spotlight that you know you're supposed to be in. For some of you, you are meant to, it's part of your destiny. And you know that. You know that. Now, with temperance here, it has taken a while. Because in order to step into the spotlight and shine and radiate we have to be in a place of balance in order to help heal other people we have to understand how to heal them right which we must be in a place of of i'm hearing full emotional capacity is the word i heard i don't know what that meant okay but that's what i heard from the guides so Really, this is about a choice of you taking the action to accept this person, to accept this offer, to accept this option. Like I said, this could have been a person where there was a lot of, um, it could have even been your own romantic partner, the jealousy of the individual. But for a lot of you, I feel this is an outsider. Uh, this is outside people looking at you, trying to hold you back. And perseverance. I'm going to pull the angel card, and I'll pull a romance card in a minute. And bear with me. Uh, and like I said, I am going to return to the old format where I go longer and I do the extended for you. But right now, I, I too am making changes. Francesca, what do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Now remember, negativity blocks positive. So focus on this, this is beautiful. The only thing that could possibly hurt you from these, from this energy, is a person who is filled with jealousy and greed that is trying to come in from the backside, from, from the back end to hurt you, but I don't see that happening you're going to nip it in the bud. You're going to say, yeah, I don't care. I know exactly who I am. I know what direction I'm going to go. And if I want to dye my hair red, I'm going to dye my hair red. So let's pull your romance angel card for this week. Finances and career. And that's what I'm talking about. For a lot of you, that's what it is. It's moving forward into that spotlight. It's accepting this opportunity. Some of you may get a brand new opportunity where you're being put into the camera, put into uh, the spotlight. 
Now you may be an actual healer. You may be on the front line working in a hospital setting and you have an actual choice of a uh, higher position. So somebody might be quitting. Somebody may have gotten sick and they need you to step up into this position. Whatever this is, it could be a spokesperson for the hospital as well. Whatever this is, it has to do with your finance and your career. And it's something that you know, Aquarius, is gonna propel you forward. Now this person, this other person that we're looking at on a romantic level, and again, it could be, uh, well, we could even be dealing with Gemini as well, Sagittarius as well. Leo Aries, most definitely a Sagittarius. You may have been dealing with a family member, and I see it as a family member where there was that jealous rivalry going on. And this feud is getting ready to come to an end. It's getting ready as you focus on your finances, focus on rebuilding your life. Do not worry, do not look back. Whatever gossip is going on around you, you're protected from that. You literally are protected. And it's all about you remembering Francesca. Remember Francesca, call on Francesca to help you with this, to keep you in that positive perspective so that you can take action because this is your time to shine, whatever it is. And I know I've been saying it quite a bit over the last uh, two, three, maybe even four months for Aquarian. It's a stage, it's a process that you've been going through where we're fighting to rebuild and regain our personal power and we can get it and then we can lose it a little bit and bring it back until we are fully our true authentic self. And that's when this choice is coming in. For a lot of you, it is it at the end of this week. And for those of you who are watching, this would be meant from the time that you view this video and the week thereafter. Be safe, be well. Please join me in the unity prayer on April 7th and much love.